Hi, welcome to All Things Bourbon. Um, I'm Tammy and this is Joel. And today we're going to talk about our visit to uh, Heaven Hill. And so when we were there, um, we uh, showed up on a day that they were having a big run and we had booked a, it's called uh, the Heaven Hill Experience. And it was a tasting of Elijah Craig barrel proof and Larceny barrel proof. And what was the Bernheim? Bernheim Wheat Whiskey. Bernheim Wheat Whiskey. And so we had never had the Bernheim. We do um, actually already have some of these and had tasted both of these products. But we went and they uh, did a talk uh, about um, how to taste everything and all the flavor notes. And for us, um, we enjoyed it. Um, but that's not really, I'm more into the history. He kind of really, we really enjoy them talking to us about the facility and the, and the, they were talking to us about the bourbon, but we were kind of like the history and the tasting more than we like pulling out all the notes. That's not really um, the thing that we get into of knowing every, identifying every flavor. So we did have a nice time with our group. And then at the end, we got to pick one each uh, to do a straight um, barrel proof um, bottle ourselves. So that was kind of fun. Um, I say, fun. yeah, it was fun. It was fun. We you... visited with the people. Um, so we cleaned, cleaned our, picked ours. We didn't we end pick up picking up the We pick up an empty bottle and they walk you through the process yeah. of, of cleaning the bottle and then, and then uh, filling it. We got it, it all set up. Uh, filling it uh, with, with whatever you choose, uh, whether it was the... The Larceny or the Bernheim or this uh, Elijah Craig, all of them are cask strength, so they're they're barrel proof. Um, um, Put our own stickers. We we, on. we we got the the thrill, I guess, of putting putting the stickers on. But they being, also and, told us that we had to have this because of the law. Of the state law, yeah. yeah so like that. so we we wrote wrote on the bottle when it was filled. Um, we we wrote the proof, the proof down yeah. and all that and. What and, batch, um, the so if you want to go to a, go to an experience where you get to fill your own bottle, and I mean, it, to me it wasn't as fun as whenever I was filling my own bottle at Three Brothers Three Brothers uh, Farm, yeah. Three Boys Farm, um, because I got to fill it with a whiskey thief, and and it's kind of a cool experience. But this was a neat experience for a mass, but, a larger scale. But uh, the day we came, as she said, it was uh, it was a very busy day because they were having a run there, so and kind of, so their gift yeah. shop was kind of chaotic. And which that's not the normal. That's feel not the normal feel. At no. the distilleries, right? So it was a busy day. But then we came back another day, and they have a whole area that they have the history. So let's go ahead and talk about. Heaven Hill makes. All right, so so Heaven Hill makes Elijah Craig. They have the whole um, history. Of and that. and you know what? That's so, you learn something new every time you go to a distillery. I really enjoy Elijah Craig. I, I didn't, thought they were their own thing. I didn't realize that Heaven Hill made made. And, and they own uh, their own company. They um, make and own their own their family owned. Yes. Yeah. They've been in uh, so they several generations now. I think they're probably in the third generation or second generation at least of. A bourbon making, and they were definitely there during the um, um, depression. I remember that from the history. So they they'd come across as immigrants, and the Shapiro family, and they had five sons, and then so that so they had five uh, boys or five brothers that were involved in the distilling business, and so this is a this is a bourbon that you can only get at Heaven Hill Distillery, and and it's labeled Five Brothers. They've um, all passed away now, and it's down to some of their kids. So you can at the at the gift shop, you can purchase the five brothers. You can purchase the Elijah Craig, uh, and you can purchase the Larceny. Um, they do not. This is an Old Fitz 17, which I'm very pretty proud to show you guys. I have here. Um, they don't. They don't sell any of the Old Fitz These products there. there. They are. They make. They make those there. Um, they, they also we make, they, they don't, they don't have this there either. This is the Heaven Hill Bottled and Bond, which is, found that for like a hundred bucks is, is, is one of my new for... favorites. I really enjoy this. We get it in um, Texas. But these are all, all of the products, um, or some of the products that they make at they the make Heaven Burnheim Hill. They also. Heaven Hill Distillery. We didn't, um, uh, oh, I did. we found out about Parker's Hill. Oh, they make Parker's Heritage. Oh, Parker's Heritage. Parker's right. Heritage, which is a very sought-after bourbon as well. It's very pricey. Um, 
We did and, not get and to taste. We it. didn't get to taste the the Parker Heritage or no, this. But, <laughs> but here's the deal: they if have you're pours. if you're willing to spend the money on pours, yeah. I'm kind of a tightwad when it comes to paying. We'd rather for, buy a bottle for pours. Yeah. But but they have a bar there oh, at yeah. Heaven Hill that has oh, all of these top end bourbons that you can if you want to pay for a pour. But I kind of cringe at a one ounce. $150 or $200 uh, $100, or $200 for a one, a one ounce uh, sip, right? Um, so I, I don't I don't do that. Um, if you if you do it, fantastic for you. I'm We'd glad. like to, and you can buy us one. Yeah, yeah if, you, if ever I'm at the bar with you, you can buy me one of those. But I, I'm sorry, I probably won't buy you one. But, we'll, uh, we'll buy you one of the five brothers. Yeah, right. But... Uh, Anyway, we had a good experience. Uh, other than the crowd, the day we was there, it was really a good experience. Uh, we did, as Tammy said, we went back a different day and totally different atmosphere. It's the whole and, uh, history of the and they have a they really have a good Hill. museum set up there that that you can walk around and and uh, you learn a ton. So well, so, one of the things that we found out when when we started watching Neat and got into even trying bourbon was how there's such a community there of helping each other out. How many of them are already kind of related and in the business, like the beans, they're distillers. But we had found out about that fire that they had had at Heaven Hill and how the family, the next day they went to work, he said, show up. Um, they've almost lost everything. And then all the distillers from around came and helped them uh, be able to start making their product like within the month. They went right back to work the next day after having a devastating fire. And so they really rose up out of the ashes with the help mm -hmm. of the Kentucky community there. Um, that was in Lawrenceburg, isn't it? No, um, they're in, uh, what's the one? Bardstown. Uh, Bardstown. They're in Bardstown. Sorry. They're in Bardstown. So you need, to, Bardstown is a very neat town, but that community rallied around Heaven Hill and came uh, and and they worked together to save their business, all of their workers and and their neighbors. So, but they they do have the story of Elijah Craig, which he's supposed to be kind of the the founding, founding father. father. Yeah. But, yeah, they say that, but then something about Evan Williams. So you never know. I'm not quite sure. Uh, the stories get mixed whether Evan Williams was the founder of Bourbon or Elijah Craig was. I know Elijah, Elijah Craig was a a Baptist minister that was also an entrepreneur, and and so you can read a lot of that history. Mm -hmm. uh, so at, this when you, is their family. This the, yeah. Yeah. When whenever you go and do a walk through of and their then they museum, they purchased old fits because um, part of them buying out the Stitzel Weller um, the, when Bourbon was in the toilet. Um, they they um, were smart enough to know that they wanted to buy this good uh, company here. The old Fitzgerald came into their possession there, and I don't really know um, that this is a Fitzgerald. So it's I didn't even realize this is a Fitzgerald. Oh, so larceny, larceny is an old Fitzgerald product. Yep. Okay. I didn't even realize that until no. I just looked at the label. So we're always even learning new things. Uh, just. <laughs> By looking at a bottle. So, so do you yep. want a pour of, of Heaven Hill Bottle and Bond or Elijah Craig or? You know I'm gonna steal your Heaven Hill. So I'm gonna. I haven't had Elijah Craig in a while, so I'm gonna have a little a little sampling of. Uh, He's getting a little stingy with this because it's really hard to find. It is hard to find, and I haven't <laughs> I haven't been to Texas in uh, in a while. So, cheers, y'all. Uh, please like and subscribe. I know uh, oh, our videos may seem a little scattered. Um, but we're we're really we're we're wanting to to uh, tell you about our experiences with with bourbon and the bourbon tourism. We have just talked to you like uh, if we met you on the street and we were talking that's to right. you to say what we liked about it, what our experiences are, and sometimes go more into the history um, of a specific one. But a lot of times, just talking about our tours is just to let you know what you're in for and definitely to go check out Heaven Hill and there, there's a lot of fun to have there even without doing the tasting or, or I would do a tasting if definitely but uh, you don't need to do the experience if you don't want to buy a bottle um, or if you already know how to taste it cheers, cheers. Uh, like and subscribe thanks thank you